you're saying it absolutely right. May and Ma Lady. Now, if you live in Longton, it would be May and Ma Lady. But if you lived in Tunstall, it's May and Ma Lady. So it just depends which part of the city you come from. Uh, May and Ma Lady started in the Central many years ago, um, produced and written and drawn by Dave Follows. Now, it's one thing being a cartoonist, uh, and, and that's excellent, and his sketches and drawings are absolute perfect, spot on. But what is spot on is the dialogue. The dialogue between a man and his wife who've been long time married, years and years and years, probably raised a family, he's never done a day's work in his life, she's been uh, just knocking about the house, cigarette smoker, you know, a bit like Andy Cap really, no I shouldn't say that, better than Andy Cap. Um, so there they are and it's been wonderful to uh, have followed Dave Follows night after night in the Sentinel. Isn't that absolutely wonderful? How can you keep up that tremendous challenge of being able to say something different every night? The main thing about it is that he captured the essence of a man and his wife in the potteries of a, of a time which I think sadly is long gone, but still has those echoes of still being present. So that's why I think it's a wonderful, wonderful award for uh, the family. A quote? Uh, yeah, or oh, localism or a little... Oh, localism, uh, a piece of dialect. Um, well, my friend Pete Williams, who you might have interviewed already. Not yet, okay. Well, he's pretty good at telling me this. I, I, I mean, I never had a Stoke on Trent accent, unfortunately, because I don't really come from around here. But I've been here for a good part of my life, and I've worked and I've lived here. I think things like Things that I've learned, like uh, the word nesh, which, which means, um, well, if, if somebody was very cold, and next, you know, in, in, a, in a sunny day and said, my God, I'm cold, the answer would be, you, you and nesh, you and nesh. So, so that means that, you, you know, you, you're not really cold, you're not, but you're putting it on. Okay. But it's that slang way of doing it. Um, the George Hotel in Bergen, which everybody knows, uh, and Arnold Bennett knew it very well. He called it the dragon uh, in, in, in his storylines. Um, the George Hotel would be interpreted as Jojo Tell, the Jojo Tell. And that's the way, but, I mean, look, this is a posh guy talking now. Isn't it? You're asking me to put these colloquialisms with a, with a dialect in. I find it very difficult. I know what lobby is, uh, that's a stew. Um, what else do I know? I know that. Um, I know that Lozik, I hear the word Lozik, which means to, to be lazy, to be idling your, what, your time away. So a Lozaker is an idle person. How's that? That's lovely, thank you. So would, I, would that be right if I said you're neshing, neshing the, neshing. the accent? Well, I, I, yeah, I'm a bit nesh on the accent. Ah, yeah. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> you did that very oh, well. No, that's right. yeah. um, so what made you come to the event today? What's so special about it? Um, well, as I said, when I gave uh, the award to the, uh, to the family, to, uh, for Six Times Radio, yes, okay, it's still online, uh, but it will grow, and I feel quite convinced that at some stage it will get its license and it will be more widely listened to. I think Six Times Radio has come to the heart of, of, of Stoke-on-Trent, so it is the mother town. To have chosen the mother town where Arnold Bennett lived, where Josiah Wedgwood was born, and where Brindley built his canals, where Erasmus Darwin came to to give uh, to give talks and consultations. I think for somebody to uh, you know to set up in a town like Bursley is the great thing, and that's why I'm here. I'm here to help to promote the, uh, the mother town. I'm here to help to promote Six Towns Radio, and I think they're doing a fantastic job. Thank you very much, Brendan. All right. You.